Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a ink reveal or paint reveal animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. You could use this as a transition inside of your videos or animations. Yeah, without wasting any more time, let's see how to create this. I'm going to start off by dragging a blank fusion composition onto the timeline. Let's go to the fusion page. Here we will create this animation. If we get started, if you want to have the same layout, all you do is go to workspace, go to layout presets, fusion presets, and then click on mid flow. So this one is the mid flow preset. Cool. So let's just drag in the background node, take a look at it. And to this background node, we will add in a polygon mask. So just drag that in, connect it up. And now you can just create your shape. So I'm going to create a really random shape. It doesn't have to be uh, any shape in particular, just a random shape like this. You can maybe even go like this. And once you create it, then you select all of these points and hit Shift S on the keyboard to smooth that out. And you can sort of make adjustments to this. Um, so you can just select one point and just move around like so. So yeah, once you are happy with that shape, uh, then you can start animating it. So for the animation, we can go the very first frame, which is frame zero, and we will set the size to zero. And then we can move to the end and increase the size. So we basically want to fill the entire thing over here. So we need to increase the size value over here. So I'm going to set this to around 10. And I'll just adjust the position a little bit like that. So if you take a look at it, this is how it will look. Now you can add multiple polygons to this. So for example, if uh, you bring this polygon over here, you can copy and paste in the polygon and you can just move the position over here and you'll have another ink reveal from this position over here. But let's just keep this simple. Let's undo this. And after the background one, we will add in a displace to this. And displace, we will add in a fast noise. Let's connect the fast noise to the displace. And let's take a look at this displace uh, node. You can see the name over here, displace one. This is the node that we are looking at. I'm going to go to the fast noise and just simply click on this node fast noise. And I'm going to increase the detail and the contrast. And I will also increase the size you can also check discontinuous see if that uh, creates a new cool looking pattern i think it does so i'm going to check that and uh, inverted it will not really matter so i'm going to just uncheck that so let's play this animation and see what we have so far and yeah this looks really cool uh, you can see that it looks like a ink reveal animation so now you can also increase the contrast. So if you change the value to something like 10, you can see that we have this, um, oops, should be 10. And you can see that uh, we have this really cool look. Now we can use this animation to reveal images or text or video, anything that you want. So I'm gonna show you how to reveal an image using this texture over here. So I have this image over here and I'm going to connect this image to this displace and this will result in merge one. Now, if you take a look at this merge one, you can see our image is on the top. All you have to do is go to operator and change the mode to a top. And you can see the texture will reveal our image. Cool, right? And then you can add as many elements as you want. You can add text such as and just type in text and connect that up as well. This will result in merge two, take a look at it. And I can make adjustments to this text and make it a different color and probably change the font style. And same in the merge tool, we'll go to the operator and change that to a top. So now it will reveal the text as well. Looks pretty cool. So if you go to the edit page, uh, you can see the animation. If you connect it to the media out, you'll be able to see the animation over here. And now 
you can sort of create transition as well. So if you drag this clip on a new track and you can maybe add in the same image for now and I'm going to just quickly change the color of this image. I wanted to turn this into black and white color. Um, so actually, um, I'm pretty sure there will be an there, there's an effect for this in here. But yeah, let's just use Gaussian Blur for now. Okay, and I'm going to increase the strength amount. And yeah, there you have it. So we can transition from this blurry image to this really cool, um, cool scene over here that we created in the Fusion page. So yeah, that is um, what you can do in here. Let's just go to the Fusion page over here and I'm going to show you a couple of more nodes that you can apply after the displace node. You can right click on the displace and go to insert tool and go to warp over here at the bottom and you can just um, add any kind of warp into this. There are other tools that you can add to this uh, but I tried the warp tools over here and I really like the results. So let's just use dent over here and see what that does. Uh, yeah, so you can see that it creates this sort of look. And you can pretty much change the strength and all that stuff over here. Increase the size. And you can change the dent type. You can change that to kaleidoscope. And there is dent 2, dent 3. Um, now you can, if you want to, you can go to polygon 1 over here and create a position animation on here as well so let's just move this to the right uh, create a keyframe there and let's go to the last frame and i can just move this in the center like so and this will sort of create this really cool reveal animation and with the dent over here we can uh, maybe increase the strength and see what that does and you will get some really cool results so you'll have to play around with different settings over here then there is another node that you can add under warp it's called drip and this also gives really cool results as you can already see we have these really nice streaks in the in the animation over here if i disable the drip node you can see this is before and this is after so you can change the aspect of it and change the amplitude and all that stuff. And you can change the shape as well and uh, get some really cool results out of it. I really like this random one and I like to increase the dampening amount so that we have a little less of these noise textures. I think it looks really cool. So yeah, you can definitely play around with this. Uh, you can increase the amplitude and uh, play around with the aspect and maybe the frequency as well. And uh, you will have some really cool uh, organic looking paint reveal um, animations. Um, so there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.